Um, good morning, everyone. Um, I hope you are all doing well. Um, actually, good afternoon. My name is Christine Bautista. I'm a career counselor here at San Jose State. Um, I'm the liaison to the College of Social Sciences and College of Education and School of Social Work. So if you belong to those schools or departments or colleges, um, I am your counselor. So we're just gonna go ahead and start talking about um, focus two. So there will be like a quick presentation. I'll do a quick demo and then there will be room for question and answers um, shortly. Okay, so just some house rules. Um, if you haven't already, please um, uh, fill in the Google form that I posted earlier um, and so that we can track attendance for today's event. And please make sure that your audio and video are muted um, unless prompted otherwise. Um, if you have any questions um, as I'm going through the formal presentation, you can type them in the chat. Okay, so just um, first, I think we need to understand what Focus 2 is. So Focus 2 is an online self-guided assessment and planning system designed to help you explore majors and careers. Assessments are short. It can go from 10 to 15 minutes um, and offer immediate results. And there are several assessments on Focus 2. So first, um, you know, you might want to be asking yourself, like, when should I be using Focus 2? So you can use Focus 2 um, if you want to take self-assessment to discover careers and occupations that match your personal preferences and attributes. Um, if you want to understand your personality type, work interests, and career planning readiness. Um, if you want to plan a career and educational pathway that will support your needs and goals. So basically, this can apply to anyone, right? It could be um, for someone who's, you know, I'm undeclared, I don't know what to pursue, I have these interests, an assessment might help you. Or maybe you're like, I know what I want to major in, or I'm already majoring in this, I enjoy it, but I want to get some ideas of what kind of occupations match my preferences or my major. So um, Focus 2 would be a good assessment tool um, to use for you. Any questions so far? And you can type it in if there is any. Okay. I'm not seeing anything, so I think we are good. So um, to access Focus 2, there's actually two ways, but on this screen, you're just seeing the you know one way, and I'll show you shortly like what's the second way. Um, but one of the ways is to use one SJSU. You just type Focus 2, um, and you just select Focus 2 the career and you know Focus 2 career um, icon, and then it should launch your app. Um, let me hold on. There's someone who came in. Um, thank you for joining us for, for the folks who just joined in. Um, if um, you can, please check in today's event. I'm just posting the link on the chat box. So we're talking about um, how to access Focus 2 at this point. Um, so again, you can go to 1SJSU, type Focus 2, and then cl click the icon for Focus 2 and launch it. So you don't need to create an account for it as long as you are on single sign-on. Um, you should be able to launch it. Um, so there are three tips um, that I wanted to share. So in terms of um, Focus 2, there are several assessments. Um, and then the first assessment I would encourage you to complete is the work interest assessment. And this is what it would look like. And I'll show you shortly once we go through the tool. Um, and you also want to keep these in mind. So keep note that an assessment is not a test. So there are no right or wrong answers. Um, you know, the, so, so you to get like a um, accurate or authentic feedback for yourself, like answer it based on your actual preference. So don't um, answer by thinking, oh, I think this should, you know, don't, don't listen to the should voice in your head, but really like when you see a statement, what naturally comes to mind, that's what you want to answer. So again, this is about your preference. It's not, you know, a test. There are no right or wrong answers. Um, you want to review the descriptions of the six letter code. And this will make sense when you actually see the tool, which I will demonstrate shortly. Um, but basically, this tool is based on um, Holland's career theory. And he believes we have six interest areas. And out of the um, six interest areas, which make up those letter codes, um, he believes we have our top three. So you'll eventually end up with a, a three letter code um, as a result from, from the work interest assessment. Um, in addition to using Focus 2, you could actually use um, the results from Focus 2 um, on ONET. And I'll briefly also um, go over that um, you know, when we're doing the demo of the tool. 
Um, so when you are on um, focus two, this is basically what it looks like um, once you're you're done doing the work interest assessment and you see your letter code. This is the next page after where you see a list of occupations matching your results. So on the first column, you'll see a list of occupations. And then on the second column, you'll see a list of programs or majors offered at San Jose State. So if you are interested in learning about specific, specific occupations, um, you can click further by, you know, click on a particular occupation and it should pro provide you more information about that specific occupation, as well as the majors or program. Like if you click on a specific uh, major, it should lead you to a page where you're getting more information about um, that program. So I find that for students, the second column is helpful for folks who are, um, you know, undeclared, trying to figure out what major to pursue, or maybe there's folks who are, I already have a major, but I'm not sure, and I'm trying to see if I should switch majors or declare a double major or have a minor. You know, this, this is also helpful for those folks. Um, so just additional tips, um, review your occupation matching results page. Again, as I mentioned, click on any occupation found on the first column on the previous slide that I shared with you. And also consider using um, the career explorations worksheet found um, in the major career exploration guide to help you with keeping track of your research. And I'll again, share that with you um, when we're at the demo um, side of this um, presentation. Um, you also wanna review the major star programs listed on the second column. And again, as I mentioned, it's helpful for those who are exploring majors um, and our graduate degrees. So, um, so for those who might be juniors or seniors in, in the audience, if you're like, you know, I wanna do grad school, but not sure what to pursue, um, you can also use Focus2 to help exploring possible majors or programs. Okay, so here, another tip is you want to complete other personality assessments and leisure assessment. So like I mentioned um, earlier, there are other assessments in addition to the work interest assessment, the, but the main in, uh, assessment um, you wanna work on is the work interest assessment. But if you're seeking clarity or want additional feedback, there are these other assessments where you, you can see. So there's personality and leisure assessment. So you wanna complete um, the personality assessment and leisure assessment to get more ideas for possible occupations. Because sometimes like it's not just, um, so the work interest assessment is exploring like what are things that you like to do, right? Like what do you enjoy? But the personality assessment is, you know, based on your personality and other preferences, like what are other possible occupations you might um, explore? The leisure assessment is, you know, if you weren't um, you know, outside of work or outside of school, what are the things that you enjoy? And maybe look into that um, for possible um, inspiration on what other things you can look to look into in terms of um, exploring work or occupation. So um, they're, they're all giving you some feedback depending on a different lens of what they're looking at, right? So you can also use combined assessments um, option to see what occupations option overlaps for you across all assessments. Um, so I, I mentioned earlier three tips, but actually there's this like fourth pro tip. Um, if you have time, like, and I really encourage this, you want to complete the MI Career Ready Career Planning Foundation tool. Um, it helps you assess strengths and areas to develop among the eight NACE competencies. So NACE is the National Association of Colleges and Employers. It's an organization. Every year, um, they sent out this survey asking employers um, across industries, so regardless of role regardless of industry, um, what are the things that they value in um, what skills that they value or competencies that they value in their hires. And um, that's where this is based from. And it'll make sense when, when I show you the, the demo um, shortly. But any questions um, so far, you can type it in the chat if you have any questions. Okay, so before we go to the review part of this um, formal presentation, I'll just go back to it later. I wanted to show you, so you can find um, Focus2 um, using your one SJSU, right? And um, you, can, you can click on it. Or you can go to the Career Center website, and if you hover over resources, you click Focus2, as long as you're on single sign-on, you should be able to just click on the logo and it should lead you to Focus2. 
Um, so for you guys, you won't see this. I have this option because I'm staff. But for all of you, you will be landing on this page, and this is what it looks like. So as I mentioned earlier, you want to be working on, at minimum, the work interest assessment. So um, again, you'll see statements, um, and then you'll basically say like how much you agree with the statement. And this is just an example of the results. So here, you'll see your three-letter code, and as mentioned earlier, um, there will be explanations of what those three letters mean, or all, all six. And then if you click on continue, you will be seeing the columns that I mentioned earlier, right? If you want more information about a specific occupation, you click on it, and then it'll give you actually more detailed information about it that would help you in, in um, you know, your research. Um, and then if you go back, if you click on results, and I'm just gonna go back here. If you click on the, a particular um, degree, it should lead you to you know, more inf information about um, you know, the specific programs that are offered at San Jose State. So let me go back. And then um, I'm not gonna spend time on going over the leisure assessment and personality assessment, but the concept is pretty much the same. Um, you're gonna be basically be asked for information um, I mean, in terms of your preferences, and then you answer, and then you could combine assessments like to see where the overlaps are in the occupation. Um, but the other thing that I also wanted to show you is the am I career ready? So if you're, um, you know, trying to figure out like what experiences to build or what skills to develop, um, you know, as a budding professional, I would use this, you know, just to get some ideas. So um, there's statements here. Okay, sorry, there's someone who's trying to join us. So um, thank you for, for um, folks who just entered here. If you have just joined us, please make sure you log in and check in with the um, sign up sheet that I just posted in the chat. Um, and then here, yeah, you can go to Am I Career Ready? So you click on results and it'll show you, you know, the specific NACE competencies. So here you'll see thinking, leadership, professionalism, technology, career, communication, inclusion, and teamwork. And you'll see, um, you know, based on your self-report, like, you know, if you identified it as being not yet developed or highly developed or whatnot, um, it'll show in the bar graph. And then if you click on continue, um, here, there are actually like suggestions, right? So if you're saying I'm only moderately developed in critical thinking, these are some suggestions on how you might develop those skills, right? So particip participate in research projects, uh, practicing step-by-step um, -step plans to solve problems. So let's say you're, you're interested in developing the skill. Maybe you want to consider, um, you know, helping a professor in their research, right? If that is something that you're interested in. Um, and then you could, you know, write some notes for yourself if you wish. And then there's um, things you could look into here um, and you can print this if you want. And again, it'll just look at, you know, your other community, your other skills based on the NACE competencies. Um, so I mentioned earlier that um, there's actually a guide that you could also use um, to help you keep track of your focus to results. So here at the Career Center website, um, if you um, click on explore your options here. If you go down to the, the page, you'll see number one, major and career exploration guide. And um, depending on what you're trying to look at, um, there's two worksheets that you could use. Um, so there's the major exploration if you're undeclared or maybe you're declared but trying to explore. Um, this might be like a good um, exercise for you. So there's a worksheet that you can use to keep track of your answers. Um, and if you're more like, I like my major, I know this is something I wanna keep continue studying, but I need help with exploring occupations, then I would jump right into career exploration, you know, read these pages. Um, there's instructions here that you could use. Um, and then there's another worksheet here that will help you um, uh, make sense of your focus to results, right? So you could do that for, for yourself um, and help you keep track of your answers. Um, I also mentioned earlier for your three letter code, you could use ONET. So on the expiration worksheet, there's actually a link here. So you could click on it. So if you're, you know, you have more um, curiosity about 
um, occupations that match your interests. So you go to this website, you click on interests, and then you um, select your um, three letter code, right? Based on your focus two results. So you might find um, the information produced here is similar to focus two, or you might find additional ones that are different. Um, if you click on a particular occupation, the type of information is similar to what you might see on focus two, um, but it just looks a little different, but the content is, is pretty much the same. So, um, but there might be additional occupations here that you might find um, that might not be on focus two that you might be interested in to look at. Um, so we are at the end of the um, presentation. Um, before I open it up for question and answers, um, if you can um, just participate in this quick survey and you can type in your answers in the chat. So let me just present here. So um, for those who um, heard this portion of the presentation, I wanted to ask, um, what you think. So work interest assessment is only available, is the only available assessment in folks too. So do you think it's true or false? So I'm seeing false. Yes. Okay. So that is correct. So as I mentioned earlier, there's others assessment, there's personality, there's leisure. You can also take the MI career ready if you're interested in it. Um, next question, it's important to answer assessment questions based on your actual preferences. Is this true or false? And you can type in your answer in the chat. True, yes, definitely. You want to um, make sure that you are answering based on your preferences so you can get a more honest and accurate result, right? Because it's, it's, it, it, it's, um, going to be more helpful for you if you're more honest in your answers, right? Okay, so is there anything else um, focus to related that you would like to know? Any questions? And you can unmute yourself at this point or you could type it in the chat. Any questions? So I'll give you a moment to, let me see. Yeah, if you have questions later, oh, that's a good question. If you have questions, who, who can I reach out to? So you can um, email um, careerhelp at sjsu.edu if you have, um, hold on, um, let me type it in. You can email careerhelp at sjsu.edu if um, you are, what do you call this? needing um, some support, or you can go to our website. We have a um, uh, live chat. So let me just um, show you guys. And for those that are here that um, just in case, please um, sign up. Let me just um, type in the link here. So this is the link to the check-in form. So I would appreciate it if you could check in and the, Event name is Afternoon Snacks, Focus Two. So let me share here, okay. So here is the Career Center website. So if you see the chat icon, um, it, you know, there, there's usually um, live representatives who can also answer your questions about Focus Two or anything about the Career Center and our resources. So you can do that, or you can email um, careerhelp um, at sjsu.edu. Does anyone else have any questions about Focus2 or anything about um, careers? That they might have. Okay. Um, this is Kay. So, um, will we be emailed um, the the slides that you showed us? Uh, that's a good question. Um, if you are interested in the slides, just email career help 
um, email that I shared because um, um, we are giving copies by request because we don't want to spam people's emails. So if you are interested in, in the slides, um, you can email career help um, at sjsu.edu and um, you, you should be able to get a copy of the slides. Thank you. You're welcome. And then I'm posting a link to a survey about today's event. Um, I would appreciate your um, feedback. And uh, I'm just pulling up the screen here as well, but I just typed in the link and I would appreciate um, your feedback about today's session.